So, just another quick video regarding Virtual DJ 2021. And based on a post I saw by a guy named Richard Artemix, who was using stems to do clean edits of his tracks. So what he was really doing here, he was, he was muting the vocal stem for a shorter period of time to clean the tracks, right? To create clean edits. So removing uh, all the dirty words that may be in there. So I thought that's pretty cool, but maybe I can help to do it so you can do it in a faster way, uh, like in the editing process. So uh, that's what this video is about. So uh, I've created a pad page down here to help us with this. But first, let's just listen to what the, the track sounds like right now. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you can't take no more. I'm sorry, but when my end... So, as you could hear, this is not a dirty track. But just being YouTube and all, we'll just stick to this and we'll just pretend some of these words are dirty. So, lots of words sorry here, so let's just find that again. I'm sorry. So that's about here. So what I can simply do is I can simply put in mute one short and then it does a short muting of the vocal. So let's try that. And then let's see what it sounds like. So it removed it a little bit late. So let's just uh, find a better place for it. So this is a little bit before. So I can simply right click or shift click to remove this uh, muting again. So now it's gone and then I can just click it one more time to get it back in a new place, slightly different place. And let's just listen to it again. So now the sorry word is removed. Let's see if we can find a one that's a little bit longer, so we can test the long ones too. So let's say that just can't is also dirty words. So about here, and then we can click one of the bottom ones, like let's just pick mute six, so we can see that it doesn't have to be like in the same row. See what that sounds like. So it removed it for a little bit longer. And since these are actually also hot cues, you can also test it simply by clicking them. And it'll start from the muting. And like that. So it also works like little test features directly on the back page because they are, these are actually hot cues. Because what we're doing here is we are combining uh, the ability to mute the vocal stems, so stems and vocal stems. And we're also using a, a, the rather recent abilities to set action PUIs, point of interest, on the fly in Virtual DJ. And finally, we are also using the ability to have uh, almost limitless amounts of Q points, right? So as you could probably see up here, it says Q26, stuff that I put in, and it says Q21. So that's Q21, it's using Q21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. But those are probably not in use, so I guess that's okay. So we're using uh, Q point uh, 21 to 28 to do this. Um, so that's what it's actually doing. So let's look at the uh, the script for it here by editing here. So I have the pad page here, mute vocal POIs, and uh, I have just have stuff on it pads. And what it actually does is it sets the hot cue at 21, or indeed places if it's already set, and it uh, then does this cue action, which is the rather new feature uh, that makes you that makes it possible for you to set action POIs on the fly. Uh, on the fly. So it says, well, I want the action on this one, so the same one, the 21, to be this script. And what's that script? That's mute stem vocal, always turn it on in case it's in a, in a weird state. And then it waits for one beat and then it turns it off again. So with all always clean, you always get the mute on, so the vocal off, if you will, and then you get the, the mute off, so the vocal back on, right? So that's basically what it does. A pretty simple little script with a wait for one beat in the middle. And the next ones here are, of course, the same. It's just with other uh, action points so that you can have four of them at the same time. And then the button bounds are also almost the same. Um, they just have the way to be two bits. So that's the only difference. So now I can set four vocal mutes for one beat, and I can set four 
uh, vocal mutes for 8 beat. Of course you can change the sweeps any way you want, so this could be 4 beat instead if you wanted it even longer, and then maybe these up here be 2 beats. You could also use so that the, t the top one was actually turning on the muting, uh, and the bottom one was actually turning off the muting on these action uh, PUIs. Um, so you decided the length yourself on the fly by using two pads. That would be another way of doing it, uh, but basically the same thing. Also, that's a, that's a couple of things, right? First of all, you can actually see these as cue points. And that's because if we look at the result here, you can see that it has actually set two cue points down here. Q21, let's just look at one of them. And that's actually named Q21. So that might be a little bit confusing because you think it's a Q point, right? So it would be great if we could give it another name. And it would maybe also be great f uh, to, to, the, to make it invisible, maybe. Uh, that's also an option in here that you can choose instead of having uh, colors on it. So that's another possibility, but we can't do that on the fly at the moment. So down here, you can put marker only or invisible. But right now we can't do that on the fly with this call. Uh, but I know that uh, ScriptGo, aka LocoDoc, uh, is uh, is working on something to make uh, to make it possible to set that on the fly also. So it could either just be a marker or it could be totally invisible. So that may come at some point. But for now, this is just setting uh, up to eight little cleans, little vocal cleans on your track, and it's doing it pretty fast. And also, uh, uh, maybe more importantly, of course, since it's actually um, action points, it's actually PUIs, uh, it sticks, so if I unload the track, and I load the track again, they're still there. So if I play from Q.4 again, four again I still get these mutes the next time I load the track. So that's of course really important, so you don't need to do this stuff all over and over again. So this was just a little uh, video based on uh, the post, like I said, from Richard Artimex, uh, to do uh, this kind of vocal uh, muting using stems in a fast way so the editing process gets fast.